Hello, gorgeous, beautiful stars. <laughs> Paris Star Channel here welcomes you with a new and possibly a very exciting episode. But before we're going to start the episode, a very special intro from me to you. Because, guys, by the moment I am recording this episode, we have a month of the pride. Yes, we have a month of the pride and obviously Paris Star Channel celebrates diversity. Diversity makes us all different. We are all different, but it makes us at the same time gorgeous, unique and beautiful. That's what the Paris Star Channel is all about. So obviously I need to take a chance and have this intro so that I can say that, yes, I'm definitely manifest the, the, the pride, the month of pride and the month of diversity. And of course, there might be certain people in this world that are going to say it. Why, why, why these people, they, they, why, why do they celebrate? What, what, do they, what is the meaning of this? I don't understand. What is this for? And then I always want to come to that person, look into the eyes of that person and say, for you, so that you can understand <laughs> that <laughs> we are all different in this world. And it's not about the sexuality. It's not about what, it's not about whatever. It's what it is all about. It's about love, which means <laughs> I love myself. Because I love myself, which is very difficult and challenging <laughs> sometimes, um, I love others. And this can be challenging sometimes as well <laughs> in this world filled with lack of understanding and the tolerance. And because I love myself and I love the others, I'm proud. I'm proud of who I am. I, I'm proud that I can overcome all the challenges in this world. And I want to show that and share it with the others. I want to share my pride and love for myself and the others with, with the others. So yes, guys, um, this is the pride. This is the month of the pride. And I suppose uh, the most important thing is as well what I would like to say. In the moment of my highest doubt in myself, I created this channel. <laughs> and I was like, I don't believe in myself and I don't understand myself a lot. And I'm creating something that probably is not going to attract anyone and no one is going to even care or come <laughs> to watch my videos. And well, I was wrong <laughs> because you did came and you did help me to grow this channel. And this is, this is incredible. You guys are my pride. <laughs> I'm so proud of this, you know, and I'm so proud of this whole project when I created this channel in the moment of my highest doubt in myself. Because you come from any place in this world, you interact with me, you're leaving um, some sort of a, of a trace, some likes, some views some comments, and then I can come back to these comments and interact with you and everything continues and goes on. And most importantly, it grows. The channel grows and I grow with the channel as well. On my channel, I'm trying to show the diversity that makes us all different, unique and beautiful. And at the same time, a makeup that is beautifying to your face because we are who we are. And in my personal opinion, I don't need anything to change because this in myself, this is who I am. I'm trying to accept myself for who I am. And that is my pride. And you guys are my pride. So guys, thank you. So guys, thank you very much for... <laughs> I am... <laughs> I am I am touched. Okay. Um 
once per year. It can be touched. But what I'm trying to say, thank you so very much for coming and celebrating with me diversity. That is why we are having a month of pride where we demonstrate and show all of that. So yes, guys, that would be all when it comes to this unique, special intro during the month of pride and right now let's let's just wash this makeup and all my tears and everything <laughs> and let's just jump into this episode and to the test and guys <laughs> Ola Hendrickson we're going to test it out and see what's the hype between this whole Ola Hendrickson situation so yes guys Let's go and let's start this episode. I'm going to wash my makeup and I'll see you in just a second. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see, my beautiful, colorful Pride makeup is gone. My skin is needy and we definitely need to apply some of the skincare, but before we're going to do it, do it, let's just say what is the subject of today's episode. It is the Ole Hendrickson. <laughs> the Ole Hendrickson. And basically the main subject is this product guys which is the Ole Hendrickson banana bright vitamin color correcting stick what is it is it a cream is it a corrector what is it what does it do we're going to put this to the test but before this is going to happen I would like to share with you my own personal opinion about the skincare from Ole Hendrickson and by well today the Ole Hendrickson is actually a star of today's episode this episode is not sponsored guys i spend my all my money on these products and i spend a lot because these products they're definitely very pricey but sometimes i get some questions about my skin and what do i do about my skincare and um, I hardly ever talk about this, so I would like to use the opportunity that we are reviewing the Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick and use the opportunity to talk about the, the, the skincare from Ola Hendrickson. <laughs> so basically, what is very important for me in my daily um, uh, skincare routine is the protection. Protection and once again protection. A very punchy and powerful antioxidant that is just going to say bye bye to all the dangers from <laughs> from the outside world and the uh, the sunscreen. So if I'm going to put a good protection and then on top of that put a sunscreen, these ingredients they're going to work together, create a super protecting wall and i'll be i'll be good i'll be good so what i'm trying to say i deeply believe that combining vitamin c a very good and punchy potent vitamin c with spf can definitely create a wonderful barrier that's going to protect your skin against the external stressors and for me all the hendrickson is a way to go so let's start. I'm going to show you my skincare routine that I usually use. And I always wash my face two times per day. One in the morning when I wash off my night skincare. So I do it. I wash my face in the morning. And then I wash my face second time in the evening when I wash off all my daily skincare, sometimes makeup, SPF, everything. I want to get rid of it so that my skin is clean and I can put some night skincare. This is my own personal routine. I always wash my face two times. And then after washing my face, my skin is needy. My skin is already like, oh, oh, what is happening? We definitely need someone. And I always, always, always start with essence. With any sort of uh, essence, I, essence, I stopped using the toners because um, they're a little bit too thin, very watery. I prefer when something is almost 
um, a bit something like a serum, but a little bit thicker. And Essences is the go. So, my own personal essence, and especially it's an essence from Ola Hendrickson that I use in my daily skincare, would be this one, guys. <laughs> and it is Ola Hendrickson Bar Barrier Booster Orange Ferment Essence. This is how the product looks like. And guys, uh, it is... It is amazing. It has 120 milliliters of the product, uh, so it's a lot. And it definitely is a perfect starter for anything that you are going to layer underneath. So let's unbox it. I always keep my things in the box. I don't know why. I have all the boxes of my products. You would be amazed. <laughs> so this is how the essence looks. And can you see? Like... How much I used, I use it a lot every single day so that I can help myself to boost and to create a barrier that's going to protect my skin against the external stressors. We are not going to dive deep into the ingredients and the, um, and the, all, that, all that jazz because this episode would be really very long, but if you are looking for a perfect vitamin C boost and for the essence, this is amazing. And guys, I'm taking these essence and it's like one, two, three. Three is already a lot. I have the essence over here. I don't know if you can see the consistency is perfect. And then I do this. Oh, I, lo I lost something. <laughs> I lost something, it's expensive. And then when I have warmed it in my hands, I basically apply it all over my skin. And you know, especially after washing your face, your skin is very needy. So this essence is a perfect beginner for anything that you are going to layer after. On top of that, oh. <laughs> It is like rubbing orange and all the citruses in your skin. It is so nice, so refreshing. As I've said, a perfect starter for the morning routine. So yes, that would be my star. And that's, that's the Ola Hendrickson, the Barrier Booster Orange Ferment Essence. On top of that, it has some ferments inside what does it do it because your skin has a natural barrier that pro tries to protect and this ferment that is in this essence boosts that barrier and helps to maintain that barrier so it is really very good and on top of that it is infused with vitamin c perfection good the second product that i go would be the serum and there are different serums. There might be some serums with peptides, with ceramides, but most importantly, in my routine, there has to be a serum vit with vitamin C. And of course, that would be the one from the Ole Hendrickson. And this is the Ole Hendrickson Truth Serum Collagen Boosted with True C Complex. Good, facial serum. This is how the product looks like. And guys, if I can tell you about the Ola Hendrickson, I can tell you that it is a brand that tries to have good ingredients, that they're not trying to put any kind of an ingredients that might be controversial and whatnot. They're, they're not ideal, but they're really trying to have the best, lovely, healthy ingredients. And it is that type of a brand. And I love it. I love it. I will not be telling about the clean beauty because the clean beauty does not exist. So anyone that tries to tell you about the clean beauty is basically not telling you the truth. Anyway, here we have the vitamin C serum. This is how it looks like. And as you can see, can you see? We lack a little bit of a light. We like each other. I've used it. Um, this is the new product for me because obviously I can't buy everything all at once. Who has that money? So I'm buying portions, portions and portions. Good. So this is the serum and one pump. 
as you can see, is more than enough. The consistency is lovely, very serumy. And this pump is actually amazing because it gives you a perfect amount of the product that you actually need. And I would like to put it all over the place. Sometimes people say, don't put something in the under eye area. If I see a product that has good ingredients, I'm putting it all over my face and I'm good and I'm fine. And guys, I can definitely feel that these products are amazing. My skin drinks it like a lemonade, you know, it drinks this kind of a vitamin C product and I love it. So the next product that I would like to talk about would be this one. <laughs> there will be a lot of Ole Hendrickson guys before we're gonna go to the test, but it's important because I need to prepare my skin beforehand. So it is Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. This is how the product looks like. And we're talking about the 15 milliliters of the product. And it is again, a wonderfully infused vitamin C eye cream that you can put and it's very interesting. It is actually a very nice product that is not very greasy. It's just about right. So this is how it looks like. It comes in a very small pot and then a big bravo to Ole because as you can see, there is that protection because, well, I'll be honest with you, I definitely like products for the under eyes that are, for example, in a, in, a, in a tube and in a pump. So everything is closed and there is no air that is coming in. And the same thing is with the serum. I deeply believe that the serums that have pump, they're the best. But sometimes, you know, especially when it comes to face creams and then when it comes to the under eye creams, they are in a pot. So it's good that you have that kind of an extra kind of um, uh, lid so that it protects your, your, your product from, from getting too much air. And this is how it looks like. It looks funny, right? It looks a bit like a mud or something, I don't know. And then I'm taking just a little bit. The consistency is great. It's not greasy, it's not super thick. And I work that between my fingers and I apply it. Ah, oh, it is really, it is really very nice, guys. You, you, you won't believe it. Like, it's really very nice. Good. I can tap it just a little bit, but basically because I was wearing makeup, my skin today is very thirsty when it comes to the skincare and it's already uh, it has already synced in in my skin. Love that. And of course, a face cream. What am I going to do? Surprise, surprise. Guys, it is going to be the Ole Hendrickson C Rush Brightening Gel Cream. This is how the product looks like. And we're getting a 50 milliliters of the product, which is a standard size for the cream. And what I was wondering about this cream is like gel cream, gel cream. Is this, what, what does it mean it's a gel cream? Is it going to be like a transparent, translucent? And that was a little bit of a surprise because it is not. It is actually very orangey. I suppose the greatest shock would be if that would be a completely transparent. That is how I see gels. It is a jelly consistency by all means, non-greasy, nothing like that, but it has some color. Um, I guess the, 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 the gels can have some color as well, you know? And then I'm going to apply it on my face. I love this cream as well. Another super boosted vitamin C cream. And this is going to create me a wonderful barrier, good enough, that is going to protect me from the external stressors, guys, okay? So, once again, a wonderful consistency, guys, that is non-greasy and it keeps me, it gives me a beautiful moisture and it's infused with vitamin C, something that I personally love it. 
Oh yes, that would be the whole vitamin C routine that I'm using every day. And this is how my skin looks like, as you can see, the glow. I'm, I'm not wearing anything apart from these products. The glow from within some sort of a glass skin is already happening and I love it. I love that type of a natural look. Some of my friends, they actually think that I don't need to wear makeup because my skin already looks like I don't have to wear makeup. I guess they don't understand my approach to makeup. Makeup is supposed to beautify me and not cover me. So this is, you know, this is my personal approach. But anyway, I digress. As you can see, the natural glow that comes from the vitamin C and these products from Ola Hendrickson. In my, in my opinion, they're worth the splurge, they're worth the money, and this is how the effect they're giving to me. But hey, this is not all the products that I have. I would like to still mention three more products that I have and I'm using very regularly. The first one would be this one, which is the Ola Hendrickson Dutopia 5% Acid Firming Night Cream that hydrates, firms, and reduces the look of dark spots, fine lines, and wrinkles with AHA and otherwise cell culture extract. This is how the product looks like. And guys, if you are on acid treatment, if you like to use acids in the evening, um, this cream is gorgeous because you apply the cream and you go to bed and the cream does everything for you while at the same time nourishes your skin and uh, moisturizes your skin because sometimes, well, the acids can be a little bit aggressive. Depends on the percentage, how much it is concentrated. In here, we have 5% acid concentrate, which a uh, concentration, which is absolutely perfect, not super aggressive, and it does its job. And when you open it from the box, this is how it looks like. It is yellow, and we like each other. We definitely like each other. Every single time I'm using acid treatment in the evening, I'm layering. Uh, this is the final step, and I'm waking up with a new skin that glows every single time. So it's lovely. And uh, the only thing that I don't like is the smell in this cream. Uh, it's, it's very strange. It's very, it smells like earth. I don't know. <laughs> well, it's my own personal opinion, you know, guys? So yes. Another product that I would like to talk about would be this one. There's a lot from Ola Hendrickson. And it is Strength Trainer, Peptide Boost Moisturizer, deeply hydrates, improves skin strength and firmness and elasticity with vegan peptides, ceramides and collagen. This is how the product looks like and it is a gem. If you have the aging skin over 40 years old and you would like to add a, a, an extra boost, an extra firmness, an extra elasticity, the peptide cream from Ula, it's a go. It's wonderful, I love it. So you open the box and then you have the peptide. Can, can, you, can you see how we like each other? We like each other a lot. Look, <laughs> um, I'm running out of these products and it will be a huge disaster once they're going to end because they're, as I've said, they're very pricey. They're lovely. They work, but they're very pricey. So I need to get ready for some sort of a splurge and it will be a massive splurge. And then guys, a uh, last product I would like to talk about would be this one. The Ola Hendrickson Hydra Barrier Nourishing Oil plumps with hydration and reinforces uh, skin barrier all day with cloudberry oil, vegan peptides and vitamin E. It's amazing. This is how the product looks like. And we're talking about the face oil that has 30 milliliters of the product. And this is what it all does. This is all what, what this is all what do. And it is a perfect supporter to peptide cream altogether. They work really very nice. So usually what I do in the evening, I take this oil 
as you can see we like each other as well you don't really need to uh, need a lot and this is a wonderful pump system there is a button in here you press the button and it picks up a perfect amount of oil this is actually quite a lot three drops look one two three the three drops will be more than enough so what i like to do is i take the cream the peptide cream i scoop it i put it on my hand in the late evening before going to bed then i take the three drops of this and i do 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 three drops then i mix it all together and i put it on my skin and i'm where i'm having the most comfortable coat of moisturizer enriched with peptides that are going to work as a super wonderful anti-aging um skin <laughs> age defying uh product it is amazing and once again in the morning i wake up with a new skin so to summarize everything that has been said in here if someone would have asked me what kind of product i would like to have if I could choose the only one, it would be the peptide cream. The peptide cream among all of what I've shown you for me is a go and it's a must in my skincare and um, aging skin. And this is something that I apply every single evening, um, almost, every, almost every single <laughs> evening. Uh, and it is, it's just my base when it comes to the skincare. If someone would have asked me if I could choose two products, which would be the second product? It would be this essence. It would be this essence. I love this essence and it is a perfect starter uh, when it comes to skincare and I love it. And if someone would have asked me if I could choose the three products, what would I choose? I would choose the acid cream. A cream with acid, 5% acid firming night cream. And for me, this is, I mean, all the products, they're really very good and they really work as you can see, no joke in here, but these three, they are the most important. And these are the, the must haves that I usually must have in my skincare routine. So yes, guys, that would be all when it comes to the presentation of these products. And right now, let's jump into the Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick and talk a little bit about this product. I'm very curious what it is, what does it do? So yeah, let's, let's, let's start the subject. All right, guys, so let's talk about the super intriguing product, because I'll be honest, since the skincare from the Ola Hendrickson has worked and has worked so well for me personally. When they came out with the first some sort of a hybrid product, I was definitely like, mm. if this is a skincare that I know that works filled with pigment that is going to give me a perfect coverage while nourishing my under eye area that's super difficult and it's just like it doesn't like concealers. I'm like, I'm on it. I'm on it, I'm on it, I need to know, we need to test it out and talk about this and see what it is. So yes, guys, there you have it, Ole Hendrickson, Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick, Color Correcting Stick. This is how the product looks like. And yeah, well, it is what it is, which means a typical color correcting skin stick that is supposed to be filled with a very good skincare known from Ola Hendrickson. You might say a perfect combination. Combination. Is it going to be like that? We're going to see. By the way, all the information that you are going to see comes from the official Ola Hendrickson website and on their website you can buy the product for 32 euros and there are only three shades three shades i mm, <laughs> i don't know i'm uh, i'm a little bit skeptical about this product but we are going to see it and now mine is in the lightest shade with this banana banana i'm um, 
I don't know, the banana, let my, you know, I'm ahead a little bit of my thoughts. Um, let's open this, take out the product, and this is how it looks like. I don't want to open it. Good. And this is how it looks like, guys. It, it is kind of like banana yellow. So um, I'm usually getting used to the shades that are for my under eye area that are a little bit peachy, pinkish, or neutral. This this looks yellow. So, <laughs> so we're going to see. Before we're going to apply it to my under eye area, let's jump into the Ole Hendrickson website and see what the website can say about this product. So we have the description and in the description we have a color correcting eye cream stick with two forms of vitamin C and banana powder inspired pigments that instantly neutralizes dark circles, brightens and hydrates. Great. Details. Meet the clinical color fix for dark circles. When it comes to dark circles, we want to see major results and we don't want to wait for them. The bad news, under eye dis uh, discoloration can be caused by things out of control, such as genetics, allergies, lack of sleep and aging. And realistically, re re realistically <laughs> effective treatments can take a, f uh, a few weeks to work. The good news, now you can say goodbye to those stubborn dark circles instantly for good. Meet Banana Bright Plus Vitamin CC Stick, the brightening hero that dermatologists and makeup artists agree on. It comes in three versatile shades. I think it's too, not too much, but we'll see. Banana, apricot and pumpkin for instant color correction and customizable coverage um, on all skin tones. The super hydrating formula also layers seamlessly with concealer and blurs the look of fine lines and wrinkles. The result, brighter, smoother, more energized looking under eyes. Great. Shades, banana, color corrects purple earl dark circles, apricot, color corrects blue and purple dark circles, and pumpkin, color corrects uh, blue dark circles. The experience, uh, this creamy smooth gliding eye cream stick blends like a dream and gets to work right away and it's fragrance free. Great. And then we have the benefits and clinicals. 52% instantly brighter under eyes, instantly improved the looks of dark circles by 51%, smooths fine lines and wrinkles. I'm very excited about that. We're going to test it out. Hydrates instantly and all day. Awesome, 100% uh, agree, it provides a smooth base for concealer. We're going to test it out. 100% agree, it corrects, uh, it color corrects dark circles. 97% agree, it neutralizes unwanted tone uh, in the under eye area. And 92% agree, it revives and refreshes the under eye area. I'm not a very big fa per, uh, fan of these persons. I, I don't think it's not necessary, but good. We're going to try to verify these benefits. And then when it comes to ingredients, because I think this is also very interesting to verify, what kind of ingredients do we have? We have two forms of enhanced vitamin C, uh, ethyl ascorbic acid and tetrahexyl ascorbate. Um, superior stability and antioxidant capacity helps brighten and fade the look of dark circles and defend skin against environmental aggressors like pollution. So as you can see, and as you, can, you know, I'm definitely a very big fan when it comes to vitamin C uh, in my daily, daily routine because it boosts my protection against the external stressors. Uh, on top of that boost, uh, uh, when you mix it with a very good SPF, it's going to be wonderful and a barrier and it's going to protect you against those stressors. Anyway, I digress. Uh, banana powder inspired pack pigments, light reflecting mineral pigments that instantly illuminate your complexion. And then we have caffeine that energizes and invigorates the skin. 
So let's have a quick look at the ingredients and from the details. We start with a uh, capric, uh, capric triglycerid, which is a wonderful emollient. Then we have water, which means we, it's very interesting that we are actually starting the ingredients with the emollient. Then we have water, then we have waxes. The waxes are going to lock the moisture and it's going to create some sort of a film in your under eye area. And then we have the mica that is might be a little bit brightening. Then we have the glycerin, which is a wonderful moisturizing ingredient. We have the, the promised ethyl ascorbic acid, which is a first form of stable vitamin C in this product. And the second vitamin C, we have tetrahexyldyl ascorbate. So the promise is maintained and it is very good that it's in the middle of the ingredients list, which is a good news. Then we have caffeine. A caffeine is a wonderful ingredient. It is an antioxidant as well, uh, as, well as the vitamin C. It boosts the, the blood circulation in your under eye area, reducing the puffiness and reducing the dark circles. Great that the caffeine is in here and every single time you're having a product for the under eyes that has a caffeine, it's great. And then we have tocopherol, another antioxidant, a wonderful vitamin E antioxidant that is going to protect you from the external stressors. And then we have something like Ponsirius Trifoliata fruit extract, and this is a skin conditioning um, ingredient. And then we have another ingredient, which basically is the orange fruit extract. It's a great fruit uh, extract, wonderful, uh, revitalizing, uh, rich with vitamin C ingredients. They are in here, great. We have jojoba esters, and then do we have anything else? We have a phenoxyethanol that is a little bit controversial, but it's necessary as a conservant. And then we have, I guess, the pigment, and that's it. So when it comes to the ingredients list, it is great. It is a perfection. It is definitely, a, I can confirm that it is a hybrid product that combines a wonderful blend of great selected ingredients with coverage. So for me, it was definitely a go. I definitely wanted to try it and see for myself how it is going to look like, how it is going to perform. So right now the whole introduction is finished and let's go to the most important thing, the most pleasant, which is the application and the test of this product. Okay, guys, so I got a little bit closer so that we can see how the product is going to perform uh, in this in this demo and the application. So we take off the lid and it is um, the cap is basically really very, very well, kind of like, I don't know how to say it, very locked. So it really protects uh, the product from getting air and whatnot. You really need to use some force to get it out. And as you can see, has not been used and we are going to use it and demo it here so let, let's give it a go let's give it a try let's give it a whirl i don't really know what to expect they say basically just to swipe and and blend and be good so we're going to see it it is a little bit hard for the beginning <laughs> um, yes, this is definitely a very first impression review and demo. Okay, let's 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 process what what are we having in here? I applied it. Okay. Hmm. I, mm, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, mm, I don't know. <laughs> it's funny because if you watch my review, sometimes I'm stunned and I'm like, I know. And this is the type of a moment when um, I'm saying like, I don't know. Um, I didn't like the swiping. Maybe I'm just going to take a finger. 
warm up the product with my finger take some of it i guess this might be because it's a stick you know it has some waxes and everything so i don't know oh now it picks up some product so i don't know if a swiping might be a good solution and usually that type of a consistency is they like to be tapped with um with your finger and they like to be warmed up with the warmth of your finger so that you can work it to the skin okay now it is better when i swiped it i didn't like it but now um i like it more the shade okay granted it definitely had cancelled my my dark circles and even now my skin tone but i don't know about the shade i would prefer personally if the lightest shade would be a little bit like salmon like peachy where is it like charlotte tilbury for example her fairest one allow me to show when it comes to color correcting she nailed it see it's it's peachy allow me to do the swipe of charlotte tilbury on my hand see this is peachy and this is ola it's completely different this is definitely cancelling and melting with my skin this is yellow it's just yellowish i mean they made their choice there might be maybe some more uh, colors coming in the future but i suppose i don't know <laughs> once again charlotte tilbury and ola hendrickson well it's definitely a banana shade it's definitely a banana shade. It does a job, but when it comes to some sort of a brightening, I don't know. <laughs> but, okay, because I have hundreds of thoughts at this moment that are just like <laughs> gushing up. Um, this is how it looks like. I can try to add last one last layer. I don't want to add it too much because I don't want to be super cakey in my under eye area or whatnot. Good, it is, well, I personally don't like the shade. I'll be absolutely honest with you. This banana yellow, I don't like the shade. I would, but if I would put some, probably some foundation, everything would have mixed all together and the situation would be good. I would definitely prefer to be a little bit of a different shade, a little bit of peachy. But then, guys, let's just be honest, okay? If I'm going to approach, it does a job. There is definitely some brightening in my under eye area. Wait a second, there you go. There is some brightening right over here uh, and moisturizing. It looks very good. It looks very natural. It does not dry my under eye area. So it, and when you, if you would compare this eye with this eye, you can definitely see the difference. So yeah, it's, it does its job, but my issue, and I'll be probably repeating myself, would be the shade. And I need to find a foundation that would be very matchy-matchy with this kind of a shade because there is some sort of this kind of like yellow patch but it's very pleasant to be in my under eye. I can definitely feel a wonderful moisture. Good. Let's apply then this, this product to the uh, to my second under eye area. I definitely prefer to warm it up, this kind of like waxy consistency with my finger, and then it picks up a lot, and I prefer to apply it like that. Let's see if this time is, the application is going to be different. Swiping is not necessarily for me a way to go. You definitely need to give yourself some time to apply that kind of a consistency in your under eye area. Good. I mean, kind of. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Um. From the very first impression, it does not wow me, okay? Sometimes I'm using products that they wow me, 
this thing does not wow me it does work in its kind of own way but i deeply believe that this product might not be uh, for everyone because of how it works <laughs> if you're looking for a very typical uh, color correction this is not a typical color color correction the yellow might not be for everyone and the fair tone skin but then when i look at myself uh, at the camera and then i look at myself in the mirror it does work it definitely does work it does give me some sort of a coverage it does gives me a moisture my skin is definitely my under eye area is definitely not dry but i'm just i just can't stop talking about the fact that um that I don't like the shade. I just don't like the shade. Good. Anyway, so this is, guys, how it looks like. The Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright CC, uh, CC Cream Stick. You can see the yellowness that is just peeking through because it is yellow. It is yellow. And then um, I'm going to use a concealer, the Touche Yves Saint Laurent, Touche Eclat High Cover Concealer in the shade 0 0.5 Vanilla to even out a little bit of that yellow. I mean, in one under eye area, we're going to leave it. And then in a second, we're going to use a concealer and see how these products, they work with each other. So one click. Oh, 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 oh. can you see what's happening? Some bubbles, what is going on? Good. I need more. And see how it is going to look like when we are going to combine these products. I I chose the brightening shade today. Normally I would I would pick up a little bit darker, but I definitely wanted to add some extra to that brightness. But then if I'm, if I'm actually, you know, take some time to blend, I mix these shades all together and it's not that bright anymore. And this is the result that I like more. Now you can see the difference when you, call, when you combine the concealer with the stick. Now we're talking about, um, because guys, I'm over 40 years old. My skin is normal to dry. My under eye area is very difficult and very demanding, sometimes dry. It does not like any concealers, like any products with a, with a coverage. It just doesn't like. So my um, allergies uh, might be uh, triggered really very easily. And I need to take some time and kind of like pet my under eye area and say, you're fine, you'll be good everything will be fine so yes good right now it makes sense with a combined with a good concealer it makes sense and now the two shades combined together they look super beautiful and natural but as i've said you would have to have a good concealer i just reviewed this one and i guess if you've seen the previous episode you're more than you're very invited to um to watch it you'll understand that is the best uh, concealer in the under eye area anyway i digress and this is how it looks like aside with a concealer so far i just apply it but so far no creasing wow it looks beautiful it looks brightened it looks moistured very natural and this is the original shade it has creased no it isn't good okay guys so i suppose from now when it comes to application and the demo that's all um as you saw i was wearing a very heavy makeup so my skin today is definitely having a rest 
but we're going to keep this in my under eye area. No powders, no nothing. I definitely want to test the moisture. I definitely want to see how the product is going to look like and how it is going to perform during the 10 hours of wear. So we are going to keep it like that for 10 hours and I'll see you in 10 hours. But first, let's just go outside if it's possible because I heard that today the thunderstorm is coming. Oh, I don't like thunderstorm. But let's try to go outside and see how it looks like in the natural light. And then let's go back to the studio and have a summary on my final opinion about the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick. <laughs> <laughs> Hello gorgeous beautiful stars, <laughs> Paris Star Channel here welcomes you with this check-in in the natural light, a beautiful chilled natural light. We're having some interruptions from the ducks. Can ducks please calm down for a second while I make this check-in? <laughs> oh, the, 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 the curious one is coming. Where were you? There you were. Oh, it's coming to say hi. They always do. <laughs> anyway, back to the subject, guys. Here you have the check-in in the natural light. How the product Ole Hendrickson, the Banana Bright CC Stick looks like. And allow me to approach. This one was with a concealer Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat. And this, on this side, there is just the Ole Hendrickson uh, stick on its own. So this is the natural light. This is how it looks like in 4K. <laughs> so once again, this side is with a concealer and this side is only with a stick. So yes, guys, this is how it looks like for now. But you know, the test is not really over. So let's go back to the studio for a final check-in and my final opinion about the Ole Hendrickson Banana Stick CC stick type of a situation <laughs> what's the name <laughs> let's let's just go back to the studio and have that final thoughts and that final check-in <laughs> hello gorgeous beautiful stars <laughs> paris star channel here welcomes you with this final check-in about the product Mule. Ole Hendrickson, the color correcting stick. And allow me to approach to show you what, uh, how it is going to look like before we're gonna approach. Allow me to show you one thing. It is after midnight, almost one o'clock, which means I have been wearing this for more than 10 hours. <laughs> so I definitely have some opinion, but before I'm going to tell you my opinion, allow me to approach. This is the color correcting stick from Ule, but on its own, no powder, no nothing, no retouches during the day. It's amazing. And then this is how it looks like combined with a concealer. Once again, no powder and no retouches. You can have a look how it looks like after more than 10 hours of wear. And especially pay attention to the fact that the product does not crease. And I'm shook. I'm definitely very shook. So this is how it looks like. And guys, it is time for my opinion. So I'm going to tell you right away that Paris Star Channel gives an orange light to the color correcting stick from Ule Hendrickson. So first let's start with uh, things that are, mm -hmm, and then let's go to the things that are definitely good and positive. So the first thing is, this is not my shade. <laughs> this is not my shade. Um, for me personally, this yellow, although it fills into the color chart because yellows definitely cancels violet, which means it cancels the di dark circles. So if you would look from the technical point, yes, that yellow should darken the dark circles. And it really does because anything that is brighter from the dark circle is going to cancel them, you know? But at the same time, me as a fair tone type of a pe person, it leaves a little bit of a yellow patch it really does. So I'm a little bit, uh -huh, because I would like it to be a little bit like a color corrector 
from Charlotte Tilbury, because Charlotte Tilbury for a fair tone skin proposes something like this. It is, this is, as you can see, not yellow. It is a little bit like salmon, a little bit pinkish, a little bit of peachy, all mixed together. And this is a perfect uh, color correcting uh, product for my under eye area, which is not yellow. So I guess my biggest problem is with this product, although as you can see, it does work. That is just not my shade. And I believe that if you would give a, my shade in the same shade like the Charlotte Tilbury for a fair tone, that would be a dream come true. But this yellow I would dedicate towards the skins that are light, medium and medium and not fair tone. So yes, that is why I'm giving the orange light. On the other hand, if this product would not have no pigment and would become just a cream for the under eye area, it would be a dream come true because, guys, there's definitely a moisture that is happening in here. It definitely wonderful glides um, in your under eye area. Everything looks lovely, it looks perfected and looks natural and it looks undetectable. So, for the future, Ole Hendrickson, if you may be, be watching this video maybe in a while, we are missing one shade for the fair tone people, because this, in my opinion, is for light, medium, medium skin tone. We need something that is much more salmon, pinkish, peachy-like, instead of this super <laughs> yellow skin tone. Nonetheless, if you would look at the performance of the product itself, it is definitely very impressive. It definitely does its job and it is not creasing and this is how it looks like for more than 10 hours so it's definitely very very positive surprise nonetheless since this is a color corrector and this is proposed for a super fair tone um people as a color corrector and it didn't quite work for me i would have to give it an orange light so yes guys that would be all when it comes to this final check-in i wonder what do you think about this product i definitely like or even love the ola hendrickson brand it tries to introduce a very good product with very good ingredients and it tries to execute it perfectly if there would be another shade that would be a dream come true but this yellow is not necessarily my thing. Uh, nonetheless, the skincare from Ole Hendrickson, the vitamin C infused skincare and the peptides cream and the acid cream and all that is definitely something that I'm using practically every day and I love it. With the stick, I need to get tanned. I need to get tanned or get a little bit of a darker foundation so that I can use it. Well, it might be good for the summer time, but then after summer when I'm going to be absolutely fair and almost white, I will not be able to use it anymore. <laughs> so yes, guys, that would be all when it comes to this final check-in. Allow me to tell you a little bit of a secret what I'm planning for the next episode and Harrods. Of course, we don't have Harrods in France. So what happened? I traveled. I traveled to England to get the foundation that I always wanted. And that is only available in England. I don't know what is going on. And there you have it. <laughs> Parour, Guerlain Parour Gold Skin Version Glow. I don't know if you can see it because of the light. So I have a matte and now I have a glow version, which is absolutely incredible. We're going to do the comparison side by side and do the comparison with the formulas and see what's the differences between these lovely foundations. So yes, guys, that's it's planned for the next episode. In the meantime, this episode has come to an end. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you so very much for tuning in and celebrating with me. Diversity. Diversity makes us all different gorgeous, unique, and beautiful. Now it's time to say goodbye. So guys, from Paris with love, take care and see you soon. But as for now, bye-bye.